Five minutes, Deputy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to express my deepest appreciation to the people of Dublin South West for voting for the Anti-Austerity Alliance, for sending me into the Dáil to deliver their message. Uh, the great socialist and trade unionist Jim Larkin said that the great appear great only because we are on our knees. Let us rise. And on Saturday, the people, workers, unemployed people, young people, pensioners, did just that. They rose in their 100,000 flooding through the streets of Dublin with a message, with a demand to scrap the water charges. Uh, they did the same with the same message the day before at the ballot box. They rose because simply many people cannot afford to pay 500 euros plus a year for an average family because they've had enough of austerity in order to pay the bondholders and because they know that this is a prelude to privatisation. They rose because they're fed up with six years of non-stop austerity and they rose because of, despite the talk of recovery, they are not feeling it because the recovery exists for the rich and the super rich while working class people face a horrific crisis of homelessness, face job bridge, gateway, low, wa low wages and worsening public services. Having risen, the great do not appear so great anymore. The cynical panic-driven concessions given by, offered by this government today will not quell the revolt on the water charges. The crumbs of tax relief will not affect the over 800,000 people so lowly paid that they're not able to avail of it, 40% of the workforce. Uh, people correctly understand that today's concessions will be taken back tomorrow given half a chance. The government is now decisively on the back foot on this issue and can be beaten by a mass movement. That's the message that will go out to people right across the country. Today, under the banner of a so-called end of an era of budgetary austerity, unfortunately the austerity continues because the savage 30 billion euros worth of extra taxes and cuts imposed by this government and the last continue and in their vast majority recur again this year and represent continuing attacks on ordinary people. Despite all of the talk, and there was repetitive talk about maintaining the progressive nature of our tax system, the reality is that the tax changes in terms of the reduction in the higher rate of tax and the change in bans will benefit a relatively small minority of income taxpayers. Uh, a section of ta taxpayers will benefit from the budget, but for most, anything given today with one hand is more than taken back with the other in the form of the water charges. The others, of course, who continue to see the recovery is the bondholders. We have a primary surplus next year. The state is taking in more in tax revenue than it spends in public services, but the austerity continues. Why? Because for every five euros taken in in tax next year, one euro will go to pay the bondholders. And the response to the housing crisis is completely and utterly inadequate. I mean, you have almost 100,000 on housing waiting lists across the country, 8,000 in South Dublin County Council alone, six people being made homeless every single day, and the government is talking about 10,000 homes by the end of 2018. Like Thomas was talking about, I mean, in the 70s, they would have built almost that many homes in one year alone. For 7 billion euros, the government is choosing to pay down the principal on the debt this year to the tune of 7 billion euros, that could build 40,000 homes, it could create 70,000 jobs, it could go a serious way towards tackling the housing crisis instead of just pretending to do something about it. Having risen, people should not kneel down again. They should mobilise for the nationwide protest called by Right to Water on the 1st of November. They should build effective mass protests to prevent metering in the estates. People should join the We Won't Pay campaign. People should prepare for a huge countrywide boycott of these charges from January. If people refuse to pay, refuse to be bullied, stand together, we can beat these charges. And in fighting these charges, we can build the most powerful movement from below seen in this state in decades. Such a movement can challenge not just water charges, but can demand massive investment in the building of homes and in real decent job creation. It could challenge the rule of the bankers, bondholders and big business in this country. The hapless Labour Party is being fatally undermined because of its collaboration in rescuing capitalism in this country on the backs of working class people. Any other grouping, be they independents or Sinn Féin, that go down the same line will suffer the same fate. 
We need a challenge to this rotten system. We need to fight for a radical and socialist change that can actually deliver sustainable economic and social recovery for the majority. I'd encourage people outside this chamber to join the Anti-Austerity Alliance to help build a new mass political force to represent working class people, the vast majority in society, based on the ideas, based on the struggle, based on the tradition of James Connolly and Jim Larkin. Thank you.